The Australian share market came under pressure but recovered off the lows, down by 0.8% by the end of the session. It comes as major US indices tumbled more than 3% overnight, partly on fears around US and China trade, especially with the conflicting uh, reports coming out of that key G20 meeting in Argentina. The other fear was around what was happening in terms of bond markets and the signalling that was happening there with the three Treasury notes surpassing the yield of the five year notes and the more closely watched two and ten year Treasury yields uh, narrowing to the lowest level that we've seen in more than a decade. We will see US equity markets as well as bond markets close to commemorate George Washington Bush's death. Having a look at the turnaround in terms of markets around the region and it came after China's Ministry of Commerce website said that it would start as soon as possible with specific items that both countries have consensus on. In terms of company news, we did see liner shares coming under pressure. The shares down more than 20% after the review committee's report found that Linus's processing plant over in Malaysia was low risk and complied with laws but gave two preconditions. One in particular was was prob problematic and that is the removal of accumulated water leach purification residue out of Malaysia. Previously uh, Linus had been planning to build a permanent disposal facility for that waste. Linus looks like now it's going to have a look at its legal options but the uncertainty means that Linus shares came under a fair bit of pressure today. Also having a look at stocks on the move and we did see Nine Entertainment uh, confirming that it had been in talks with Macquarie Media. Macquarie Media shares were up by 9%. Nine Entertainment through its purchase of Fairfax has a 54% stake in the business. John Singleton has the other 32% and he's been quite vocal that he didn't want to remain a small player in a larger media company. And TradeMe has seen another bidder emerging. The shares doing well on the back of an increased bid and on expectations of a bidding war. So altogether, the Australian share market coming off the lows of the session at one point, it had been down 1.8% on some good news coming out of China regarding uh, the tariff situation between the US and China. But of course, with the US stock markets closed and the US bond market closed tonight, the Australian market is expected to be pretty subdued tomorrow.